So our final inductee of the night is Miss Platt, as I once called her. It is now Dr. Linda Platt Meyer. However, for those of you that don't realize, Linda was one of my high school teachers, so it was Miss Platt back then. <laughs> In 1983, Linda earned her degree from Lock Haven State College, and she has not stopped moving since then. She has earned the Pat's Distinguished Merit Award, the Pat's Service Award, the NATA Service Award. Linda has served as a member of the Pat's Board of Directors, a manuscript reviewer for the Journal of Athlete Training, a pronouncement council member, a committee member for the Age Specific Task Force, and I know she holds many roles with the Special Olympics closest to her heart. Recently, Linda ended her tenure as a board member for the Pennsylvania State Board of Osteopathic Medicine. <coughs> Dr. Meyer has been on 20 thesis committees, chairing 11 of these committees. I can't imagine the amount of work and the amount of mentoring that goes into that process. Dr. Linda Platt Meyer, thank you for all that you have done. 18 font and it's bold, so I'm pretty good <laughs> without my glasses. Um, can I just say ditto and sit down? <laughs> no, I, I, I would not do that. Um, I truly am um, incredibly moved and truly privileged to be standing here in front of you um, to accept this prestigious award. When I look at the number of Hall of Fame members who are here and I reflect back on what they have given, um, it's, it's, it's mind-boggling, it truly is. And for me to even be remotely in the same ballpark, um, I don't find myself there, but I certainly, certainly thank you for the, for the honor. Um, I do wanna thank the Hall of Fame Committee for inviting me to join this prestigious group. Um, and again, I'm, I'm incredibly humbled. I, I'm almost speechless, and that is very difficult for me. <laughs> Madam President Ingram, who also, short story, um, yes, I was her high school teacher, but she also was in my first cousin's wedding when she was six years old. <laughs> I don't have any pictures. I don't. <laughs> So you talk about a small profession and you talk about um, how life circles around and just constantly comes back and as my mother always said, don't do anything that I would find out about. Well, so obviously you don't ever do anything bad because it always Madam comes Madam President back. Ingram, the Board of um, Directors, the um, Executive Director of Mazzoli, um, I thank you for your continued, for, your con for you continuing to shepherd our profession and the cause that we are trying to strive for. Your diligent concerns to care about what direction we are taking is unfounded. And I believe today in the business meeting, the passion came through in all that we have to do. And the end result, the end of the day, everyone in this room is striving for the same goal. We are one family. And it was a great family discussion today. As I reflect on the many, many members, um, now I can't see. Let me put this down here. <laughs> now as I reflect on the many, many mentors and leaders, and again, I could stand here and I could start to go on and on, but I would be here for a long time. So you all know who you are, I know who you are, and how you have touched my life in so many ways is, um, is just profound. It truly is. Um, leadership, for those of you who have ever had me in class, Joe Izzy, <laughs> Linda Mazzoli, Wes Malacone, I, anyway, I can keep going on and on and on. For those of you who had me in class, um, my background is in leadership, and the saying that keeps res resonating with me is that leadership is about action, it's not a position. And you may have heard President this, or or a chairperson this, or, and yes, they are titles, but they weren't recognized for the title in which they held. They were recognized for the action that they put forth, and that is leadership. It's not about titles, it's not about being elected, it's not about all of those things that we think of leadership. Leadership is about action. It's about what you do each and every day in our given lives, in our given position. 
So when I think about all of the leaders and the mentors who truly have mentored me, obviously, as, as Barry and, and Julie and Yvette have mentioned, Mr. T, and God love you, he's, he was my father for four years, and he truly was the father that um, looked after me when I was away from my own mom and dad. And we sat there and his eyes would go and he'd make his little sounds and he would just, it just the, the, the man that you could, you could not, for those of you who don't know Mr. T, um, you have missed a cherished gem in, in life. He's, he's wonderful. Um, as you look around the room here, and again, I'm, I'm trying to ad lib slightly because I swear Barry and Julie and I sat in the same room and we kind of wrote our speeches together, which didn't happen, but the same thing is coming out. So I'm, I'm just trying to look at some of the highlights in my notes, but, but when you look around the room, and I want you to just look around and see who is here and see who you realize is a best friend. And it truly is someone that you have a bond or a relationship with that you would not have if it weren't for the common ground of athletic training in Pennsylvania. And again, I can, I can make my eyes go to every single table and there's someone I can connect with that has either impacted my life or hopefully I have in turn impacted their lives. And that's all of us in this room. So you think about all of the mentors and the leaders, and again, as I said, you know, um, I bet your, your analogy of the tree, it truly is a phenomenal, a phenomenal process. And when you think about the winds coming through and how the winds take the seeds, now I really am sounding like my mother. <laughs> when you take, when you take the, the, the wind and you move the seeds and then the seeds grow again, I mean, that's what we have here. That's, what, that's what's going on here every single day. Barry, you, you charged each of us to, um, to make that phone call for a mentor. Well, I let you know, yesterday on my way up here, I made a phone call in the car, and it was to Willie Myers, one of my other dear, dear mentors. And Willie sends for the, again, those of you who don't know Willie, he is, um, he's not living in Pennsylvania anymore, um, but he too was a cherished gem and just a, a, an absolute pearl of, of life. And he sends his best to all of those who know him, and he sends his congratulations also to Barry, to Julie, and to all of the other award winners, and he truly wishes that he was here today. And, and what I told Willie was that I will always cherish the many conversations, and that's what they were, just conversations about things, and those moments of just talking and reflecting back and forth with each other, um, priceless. As I, again, stand here before you and reflect back on the 25 plus years of attending PATS meetings, um, seeing these lifelong friends is, is just, it's just phenomenal. Um, thank you to Grossingers, and I know that that's not a person. <laughs> and thank you to Jenny G, because she, she certainly had a lot of stories to tell, but she was a painting, so she will never speak. And, and thank you to Kutcher's um, for forging the friendships, because that's where it started. And um, Paula, I won't mention much. <laughs> Julie, I won't mention much at all. <laughs> um, but I hope, again, you young professionals have experiences in your lives that truly do impact and change your life for the better. Um, I need to acknowledge Lois Wagner and Cecilia Ghost and Paula Terosi as the women in athletic training in Pennsylvania who have entered into the Hall of Fame. And now I will acknowledge my dear friend Julie as well. Your leadership as a woman in a man's world and opened the doors for we women. You're not a whole lot older than me, Paula, but Anyway, um, we owe you we owe you a debt of a debt of gratitude, and for all of the other Hall of Famers in this room, we owe you so so much for forging the roads. To my Duquesne family, and again, Paula's name keeps coming up over and over and over, and certainly not just for me. And but again, you you have a mentor 
and the, the things that happen in the, in the process to my De Duquesne family, 14 years with Susan and Barry, Paula and Peg, I thank you for your friendship, for your encouragement and your mentorship. I, I owe you more than I can say. To my Cal family, my next family, Bruce and Bill, Barry again, and Shelley and Tom and Ellen and Jeff and all of the other um, all of the other people that that work at Cal. Um, we're doing okay. <laughs> we're doing okay. Thanks. Thanks for inviting me to your family. Barry, I need to um, to single you out because it seems wherever you go, I kind of gravitate towards you. So I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for including me in your vision and your opportunities. And I personally want to thank you and those, Joe and, and Phil and those people who did forge us um, 21 years ago to make us the profession that we are in writing the bills. Thank you. To my mentor and dear friend, Loretta Claiborne, thank you for your continued, thank you for you continuing to challenge me to do my very best every single day. Loretta's a Special Olympics athlete who is here as my sister, as my family member. And when I look at Loretta and the things that she accomplishes and I look at the other Special Olympics athletes that I have the opportunity to work with and I see what they do every given day, that they go out and do the things that they do, I fall way short in my accomplishments, hands down. So thank you, Loretta, for challenging me to do my very best every single day. Julie, what can I say? <laughs> you and I have, um, I think, known each other for all of our lives, <laughs> just about, um, from our freshman Woolridge Hall dorm experiences. Um, we have shared so many times of laughter and of tears and hanging on to only memories that dear friends can share. Thank you. Big Red. <laughs> I'm gonna lump you right in with Julie. <laughs> so many, so many memories. Quigs, where are you, Quigs? So many memories. There you are. I, I should have seen, but tell you what, back there there was a, quite a few glares going. No. <laughs> Again, Tomas certainly has has um, spread his wings. Um, to my sister Redfeather, to my mentor, and to my maid of honor, Paula. I can truly say that I would not be standing here today if it weren't for you. And I owe you more than I can express. Captain, Doctor, Deacon, Reverend Reed, I think I got them all in there. Again, thank you for all your continued support. And to my husband, Chris, you are the love of my life. And I waited. I got girls, I got to tell you, I was 40 years old till I got married the first time. Four zero when I walked down the aisle. Well worth the wait. Well worth the wait. Love of my life. Thank you for being my support, my foundation, and my sounding board. Mom and my dad. I think my dad and Tomas are up there hanging out. I <laughs> just have that feeling in your dad. They're up there hanging out. Mom, thank you for teaching me so many things, especially how to serve others. And that was something that was just assumed. You learned how to serve others. It wasn't a process. It just happened in, in my family. Your wisdom and your positive force will continue to guide me in everything that I continue to do. I am one of the lucky daughters. Thank you. And finally, as John said to my Lord, I thank Lord, the Lord every single day for the many blessings and the many opportunities and the many people who have entered into my life. I, I, I again, just, um, I'm so humbled and so thankful. So with that, I thank you.